We'll go over binary shifts and honestly these are nothing to be afraid of. They are very straightforward. Once you get them in your head, uh, you'll be absolutely fine with them. They're all about how computers can multiply and divide numbers. I'm going to go and go through a few examples for, uh, with you. You'll need to really understand the whole binary uh, to deanery conversion to follow along with this video. So if you haven't seen the binary to deanery conversion video, please make sure you watch that. But if you have watched that, you'll know what I'm doing right now. I've got a binary number here. Uh, I want to figure out what the deanery value of it is. So there you go, 0, 1, 1, 0, that equals 6. All right, let's start shifting. So there's two bits of information that I need to give if I'm shifting. The first one is the direction I'm going to shift it in, so shift left. Uh, and the second one is the number of places. So I'm going to say shift left, one place. And look what happens. I'm going to basically move all these numbers left one. And that means I'm going to spring a 0 into existence here. Okay, so you'll see what happens now. So 0, 1, 1, 0. So you see how everything's moved up 1. So that 0 is now there. That 1 is now there. And so on and so on. I'm just, as it sounds, I've shifted it left 1 place. But what's happened to the value there? Let's find out. So if I do 1, 2, I haven't left myself a lot of room here, uh, 4, 8, and 16, then you'll see that that's doubled, hasn't it? So I've gone to 12. All right, okay, so that's quite useful. Let's find out what happens if I shift left now. Uh, two places. I'm going to leave my, myself a little bit more space. So it's two places. So I'll do this in a slightly different colour so it's a bit a uh, bit more obvious later. But I'm going to start off with zero, 00. Then I'm going to repeat this pattern. So 0, 1, 1, 0. Uh, and you see what's happened. I've just, this is the, I'm, I'm shifting this one to be really clear. This is what I'm shifting left two places. Um, so this zero now has moved to here, as you would expect. Uh, this one now has moved to here and so on and so on. What's happened to the values? Let's find out. I've got uh, one, I have to do this underneath, two, four, eight, 16 and 32. Uh, so that is 24 which means I've multiplied my original number by four. A shift left one place have effectively multiplied the number by two, and a shift left of two places has multiplied the number by four. You can probably guess if you shift left three places, then you'll end up multiplying by eight, four by 16, and it doubles just like the numbers above here double. So because you know, because you're working in binary. So if you remember that, how that works, then you'll be able to do any shift uh, to any number of places fairly comfortably, I would think. All right, so what happens if we shift right? Well, you've probably already guessed that shifting left multiplies. So if you shift right, then you are dividing. Okay, so that's it's that simple again. And it's by following the same sort of number system. So again, I'm going to focus on this one up here. This is what we are, are shifting right. Uh, I'm going to shift that right one place. And look what happens. I've got one, one, zero now. Okay, so one, two, four. So I had six originally. Shifting right one place is giving us three. So that has effectively divided it by two okay so divided by two that's the computer science divide symbol can't break that habit unfortunately um all right but what happens this time if i shift right two places what happens next because that gets interesting because all of a sudden i'm going to lose some accuracy and you'll see what happens here we should be able to figure out here that if we're doing it by two places it's going to do it by four so it's going to end up dividing the number by four and this is what we end up with one zero one zero. Now that's a problem, isn't it? Because I'm going to get the result one. Six divided by four isn't one, but I haven't got any way of doing a decimal place. So if I shift right and that causes a one to drop off the end of that binary number, then I'm going to suffer a loss of accuracy. I'm not going to get exactly the right result. And that really is all there is to it. Binary shifts, done. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.